Hello everyone, V Jose, Freddy Tooth back with another review. This is V Alice of Barely Wonderland Playing Cards. <laughs> Alice in Wonderland Playing Cards, actually. At the top, there's a little Spade Dip logo. It says Turnstile Production. I could clear it on that one because it's a light. And then it says Alice in Wonderland. The in is within the sea. And then it says 54 playing cards on the bottom. Lots of gold foil, really nice. The boxes are really nice. They got a embossed linen stock to them, which is pretty cool. And the side it says, the most dangerous card in the deck is the Queen of Hearts. So there's a reveal for you. Use that in the trick if you want. The other side, this is nothing but a pack of cards with four pips. Go figure, I thought it was like a pack of cigarettes or something. Top says, curiouser, curiouser. And you'll see that they used a uh, silly font. It looks like it's a uh, like you got double vision when you're looking at some of these cards. It's ridiculous. At the bottom it says deck starter. But that is produced and distributed by them. Start your deck at deckstarter.com. Or better yet, go start it at Kickstarter. And in the back, you see the back design of the cards in for lots of gold foil on these boxes. Pretty simple backs. And then you get a little custom seal with more of the same artwork. So let's look at the cards on the flap. It says turnstylestudio.com. You know, it'd be nice if Dan and Dave actually got somebody to do decks for deck started as an actual card artist. Like Paul Carpenter, uh, Jackson Robinson, Lorenzo, Giovanni. Any of the above. <laughs> Any, anyone that does projects on Kickstarter all the time. Because they actually know playing cards and can sell playing cards. Instead, they get a bunch of companies like this producing decks of cards and when they probably shouldn't be. <laughs> and, I mean, I, I think a lot of Debbie Millman and whoever did the thick lines and whatnot. So inside, you did get an ad card that says deckstarter.com, of course. Probably funded on Dexter.com. More like barely funded. <laughs> and here's your back design. Gold. White on gold. Pretty nice. You get another ad card. It's for Turnstile. I like how they did the logo. They got letters that are regular. Some are upside down. You get it? It's turned. <laughs> it says Turnstile Edison. It says Turnstile is an award winning graphic design, branding, packaging, print, and web design studio. And then they got four pips on the bottom with TurnstileStudio.com. Really? That they're they got that much experience, they're award winning, and this is the best effort they can put forth with a deck of cards. I find that disappointing. The Joker is pretty nice, simple, it's just a fancy J with four four pips on it. it. Has Joker in the corners in black and gold, and it also says we're all mad here. I don't know if you can read that or not. We're all mad here underneath the Joker. The other one is completely opposite in color of gold on the J and even the writing having a different orientation of the gold and black writing. There we go. The aces, let's look at this. Here's the ace of spades. Might be a little bit hard to read, but it says turnstile edition on top. And turnstylestudio.com on the bottom and an A in the pip because we don't know what it is. Hearts have gold pips as you can see. It says Curiouser and Curiouser. Clubs says begin at the top and at the beginning at the bottom. And then the Ace of Diamonds says nothing but a on top, cards on the bottom. Nothing but a pack of and then cards on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> and then we get to the code cards. That's what you get. It's just a K, a J, or a Q. They actually have two pips in black and one in gold on this one. And you get their hearts and diamonds, two gold pips with one black one, and of course it's the gold color. It's, I mean, disappointing. When I think of Alice in Wonderland and I think of playing cards, I think of the Alice of Wonderland playing cards that was put out by somebody else on Kickstarter. I think of the White Rabbit decks from uh, Mino Dragon. I think of Alice, the Bunny, the Top Hat, the Queen of Hearts, all of that. 
And we got none of that in here. It's just very simple. It's disappointing. Number cards, spades and clubs, you get black pips with one gold pip, hearts and diamonds, gold pips with one black pip. That's it. And if you notice, the pips are also a one-way style. All the bottoms are on one side. Yeah. Wait till you see the next deck. <laughs> um, it doesn't specifically say, but I'm pretty certain it's made by the USB-C based on the stock and fitness quality. It's basically an Airquist and Fitness bicycle stock. Is what it is. Handles good. I'll put that aside. It is nice that they only put in one USB-C or one deck starter ad card. Usually they got deck starter and how to play ad cards. They actually put in a twin style ad card, so that's nice. Let's look at the other one. Oops, my apologies. Um, get the same ad card and the same ad card. This one, it's gold on black, which always looks nice. You get the same old Jokers. And then you get this, and you probably see it already. Uh, oop, I'll focus it a little bit. The Ace of Spades, there's a white pip, it's exactly the same except it's a white pip on a black face. The Hearts is a gold pip on a white face. Clubs is a black pip on a white face. And Diamonds is a white pip on a gold face. So they went with multicolored faces. Hey, at least it's not racist deck. <laughs> and again, you can see the same thing. Clubs, or spades, sorry. Ugh, I'm confused. Spades, black faces, they got white pips with one gold one. Hearts, white faces, gold pips, one black pip. And you'll see that on all the number cards. And then you get, for the clubs, white faces, black pips with one gold one. And of course diamonds, gold faces, white pips, and one black pip. And I can't tell really if there's metallic ink, I don't think so, but who knows. And then you get the same stuff for the court cards as before. Yay. How brilliant. Oh, and by the way, they refer to one of these decks as the Carter Street deck, and the other one I think as a performance deck. I can see this one as perhaps being a Carter Street deck, and the other one as a performance deck. If that's, I think that's what they call it. I probably said tech, but I'm not even sure if Deck Starter was running right now. Last time I was on Deck Starter, it was not. So again, you know, good quality in stock, but very odd faces. <laughs> Just weird. Um, overall, let's look at this deck. Style-wise, it's okay, but personally, when I think of Alice in Wonderland, I'm thinking of some beautiful artwork. I don't have the other decks on me, but if you search Alice of Wonderland playing cards on my channel, you'll find some nice decks, a set of decks, one gold, one silver that I got from Kickstarter and they were enormously better than this. The bath design was okay but the faces were very beautiful and elegant and just nicely done. There was some issues with some fulfillment on that one. I'm not sure if they finished or not but I got mine. Oop, so I don't care so much. I do care but not so much because I got mine. And um, the only issue I had was that they were printed by Carter Munday instead of USPC. Um, because of copyright issues, but it's so much better. Even the uh, white rabbit deck from Albino Dragon, you can check those out. I, I also have a review on my channel. They are very nice, and also done by art was done by Saint Tyree. This is nothing about it that screams Alice in Wonderland, except there's an AW on the back design. Basically, I just noticed that it's an AW. Basically, that is it. There's nothing that screams Alice in Wonderland. You might as well call these whatever you want because they're not Alice in Wonderland playing cards. So I'm completely disappointed at this style. I will give it... I mean, it's okay for what it is. It's not Alice in Wonderland in my opinion. I'll give it a 2.5 out of 5. Usability, it's okay despite the one-way faces and simple chord cards. So I'll say 3.5 out of 5. And, you know, quality-wise, it's pretty good. So I will say 
three and three quarters out of five. Oops, losing cards. It's just a hat card. Anyways, overall, not the greatest stack. I'll say three and a half out of five. Like I said, it could be better. I don't consider it much of an Alice in Wonderland deck. It's just a name. The theme is not prevalent in the cards. That is that. See you next time. Check out the links in the description. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time with more reviews.